Para ellos en el mundo, pero no son el traje un kit Elevado tengo el kit, suelto furia tras el mic Me muero atrás de mí, sospechosa la pata de Galatín Astuto cual manda We sold the car! So excited! We are now on the way to, well now we're in the house, but we're on the way to Coffs Harbour to pick up the second car. The second car. Stay tuned! Yeah! It looks like just a random prawn. There is prawn. a big shrimp because they are proud of their shrimp here. Or prawn as we call it in Australia. Oh yeah. my god, it's got a door! How random is that? What is, what is that? There's a big prawn. Next to Bunnings. You know what's crazy? This is like in a, um, Australia. You've got like the big banana, the big shrimp. And after some serious research, we have big everythings. Big bananas, big kangaroos, big kookaburras, big parrots, big penguins, big pineapples, big rocking horses, and the list goes on. So I'd like to just add in, if anyone would like us to go and visit all of these and make a video of it, make this video get a thousand likes that'd be great back to the video like we're all food based <laughs> yeah that's like, what we're proud yeah, that's of what we're proud it's of like it. this town has the best prawns yeah. <laughs> so we'll put a big prawn and let everyone know <laughs> So we just went to uh, New South Wales service and we got the day permit for the car because by the time we get down here, it's going to be too late and like if we went and saw the car first, it'll be too late and we wouldn't be able to get the permit for today. So we did it on the way down. We haven't seen the car just yet, which goes a little bit against our rules, but it's cheap to get the permit, $28, not bad. So now we're one hour and 42 minutes away, we'll see what it's like when we get there. When we got to the car, it was in a lot worse condition than we thought. I did a quick check over it, thought ch top up the fluids just to make sure that it is going to run and it's not going to blow up. We're very good at putting a funnel on. <laughs> After topping up all the fluids and putting radiator uh, fluid in, we s set sail and set off to the road. Oh. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need to buy water. Alrighty. It's a bit smoky. Is that just cold? Because it's cold. Right, hopefully. Seems alright. Alrighty. <laughs> we purchased another car. BMW E46 330CI. Manual. Convertible. Delicious. Mmm. So good and tasty. 107,000 kilometers. It's about to rain. It's in rough condition. It's in rough. And it's like... It needs a different type of love. Um, I couldn't see anything, so I had to pour my water on the windscreen. This exhaust is a little bit out, so I feel like I have to hammer it in. The front is squished, as you can see. Luckily, it's only the Rio bar at the front. It's not the entire front of the car. Because the front fell off. And which is good, but I might quickly just zip tie that, and then I think we'll be all right. I gotta zip tie, zip tie that plastic to the we should have just gone straight through the field. Yeah, yeah. but I need, to, I need to take the number plate off. We've just rocked up at the petrol station here. I've noticed that the car is leaking radiator fluid. It has a slight leak in the radiator. Something that I couldn't see, only now that we've driven it down the road, you can see it's like a pinhole, literally three pinholes that are just spraying straight. The boot doesn't open, which is odd. So that could be a fuse because it's like the relay is not even clicking. That's what it sounds like. Other than that, it, it seems pretty good. What we're going to do, we heard this guy from the server here. I wish we recorded him. He said that we should go get an egg, put it in the radiator while it's cold. So we've just left it here. We got back in the Mazda while it's cold. Then as the engine starts to heat up, the egg will expand and block the holes temporarily until all the egg is gone. And then it's going to start leaking again. We'll go and um, work it out. It's exciting. Stop. If it was hot right now with that radiator, it would not be a good day. Now we're back at the car. I'm absolutely struggling to open the bonnet. The 
Release is broken. We've got the egg. I'm ready to open the radiator cap and disaster. When the seller put the radiator cap back on, I believe he's actually over tightened it. And because of that, it's snapped itself inside, as you can see. We couldn't open it, we couldn't put an egg in it, so we just decided to set sail. Catastrophe has struck. Now, we're 32 minutes away from home. We're so close, and it's just gone into the red, the temperature. So, I don't know what we're gonna do. I can't take, I can't, I can't get that radiator cap open. Yeah, the cap is stuck. We've also been driving in torrential rain for so long. It's really heavy. Um, so it's really not ideal. At this point, we realized we're only around five minutes away from a closer servo. So we decided just keep pushing on. The car sat for about 10 minutes, so the overheating um, subsided. We then were able to drive it to the servo where we were awaiting my father to come with some tools so we could actually open up the radiator cap and put fluid inside. I thought I'd give it a little bit of a check around while we were waiting at the servo. And yeah, that was pretty much it. We were able to get it home um, from there, just limping it home and then to the next day. All right, here it is. We've driven it home. We did have a bit of overheating issues last night on the way home. The radiator has a pinhole. I found a new radiator. It's like a hundred and... I think it was $155. It's second hand, but... I mean, it's going to fix the issue. The car is just like... Disgusting. <laughs> Gross. I wouldn't be surprised if a spider came out and... So, start washing it, just to sponge it all off, see what the paint actually looks like, because at the moment you, you, you can't recognize the paint, and then go from there. Alrighty, so clean the outside. So I've gone, gone ahead and cleaned the outside of the vehicle. It's looking really nice now. It still has a little bit of a layer of grit, however, now you can kind of see the color of the car you can see what we've actually purchased and overall the paint looks good there's a small little thing on the boot but it's not bad i did a little bit of a polish but nothing really happened so i thought i might have to just do a clay bar to really get the grit and the dirt out of the paint and then from there i think we're going to have a really immaculate car forget to mention when we first purchased the vehicle there were these little they're called anti-roll bars that bmw has fitted that shot up and because of that uh we didn't know if the roof opened or closed because it can't actually open when they're shot up so i had to look in the user's manual and worked out how to put them back down and i'm going to swing you back to giorgio in the past and how excited he is about this roof Oh my god, it's doing it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness! Get it! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> I am stunk. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. I'm oh, lucky me. I just go back. Now stepping into the interior, it is absolutely atrocious. Like it hasn't actually been looked after for the ownership of the vehicle. So what I've actually done is I've got the vacuum out and I've done a rough clean, but then I had to bring in the big guns and Romy came down to help. So I've just finished spending a couple of hours cleaning the inside very thoroughly. 
The leather has come up really nicely and then I put an armor all over it as well. I actually had to use um, some shoe polish in, on some of the parts uh, where it wasn't very black anymore and it kind of, the dirt kind of really had seeped into the leather. So, it's looking good. Today, fixing the, I guess the last bits of the BMW. I've done the boot, put the plastics in, put everything in. I have taken out the radiator. I didn't record it because it was a chore of a job and I'm not very good mechanic, so I'd rather not have that on display. <laughs> it's something that I noticed. So this is actually uh, connects to the expansion tank. So you've got this connects to the engine, just here, and then it comes over and connects to the top of the expansion tank. But what's actually happened is, when I believe the head gasket blew, um, and it overheated because of the radiator, it's actually melted a part of the radiator or the expansion tank into this hose. So like you can't really see it, but I can't actually separate it. It's, it's literally stuck, literally stuck in there. It's kind of disgusting if you can see like all the way in. I don't know if you can. We're gonna have to buy a whole new piece. Other than that, like it's pretty, it's pretty well done. I, I did watch a YouTube video before doing this. FYI, like I got some mechanical knowledge, but I have no idea about BMWs. They're all C-clips, so they're all pretty easy. You just gotta kind of put this in here and then pop them up and then they come straight off. But yeah, this is a bit of an issue. This what this is actually what made it harder for me to get it out because it was pretty much welded together. So I wasn't able to even pull it. I've actually found another guy that has a radiator and a black bonnet. Um, and I'm hoping $150 we can get the both. So, see what happens. After a long day of hard work, we have been able to make some really big progress on the BMW. It's actually almost just the radiator needs to be done now and then the bonnet on, but that's it. they're both easy jobs at this point and it's registerable. Ready to drive and also ready to sell. Put it for sale, see what happens. It's a new morning. And this is it. See you later, BMW. The new owner is coming to pick it up. And it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. So here are the expenses with the BMW. It ended up costing us $4,431 and we sold it for eight and a half. He's going. <laughs> So the BMWs. Bye. Bye. Yeah. 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 It's gone. I'm kind of sad. I'm not using it yet. It's alright. We'll buy another one. Okay. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next episode.